I feel like I used to have more friends and now like I only have eight. So where did they go? Hey, 49, I'm Catherine Newton and I'm about to face 49 questions. Here we go. You're gonna be fine and you can do it. You're already doing it, girl. Probably like Julia Roberts. It was so cool because I didn't think I could do it. I was just the butcher through and through from that point on. Comedy, super slow, forget it. I'll forget before I even respond. That's too hard. Pizza or pasta? Look, it, if it's like gonna be Domino's and we're gonna like pig out, then it's gonna be pizza. Jack King, ruler of all floof. Rosebud, hella good boy, gonna need a big bank. And uh, Dan Ford, Ladybird, keep the madness rolling. <laughs> it's not really unusual. I don't like crickets. Get out. Don't jump on me. <laughs> Oh, it's toxic by Britney because I like to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you don't want to want to be lame and say your mom. So I'm going to say like Reese Witherspoon, my other mom. Um, you know, it's just amazing when you're a fan of someone and you look up to someone just as an artist and then they're incredible in real life too. I'm sweater girl. I'm a grandma. I'm like, I'm afraid of the sun. <laughs> so maybe the winter. Eight. It's always been eight. Coffee. Small, squishy, <laughs> like, it's like scared. <laughs> oh, Blake Lively. I think she's got like everything classic and fun and modern. So uh, probably her. I thought when Vince Vaughn was attached to the movie, I thought, oh no. Oh no, how can I be Vince Vaughn? He's so iconic and like everyone knows how he talks and like how he carries himself. And I was like, well, I can't do that. So we just worked together with our director, Chris Landon at creating these two characters. And that took all the pressure off. It was no longer, I had to be Vince Vaughn. I just had to be a serial killer. Cause that's so much easier. Not a superhero. Call, don't even try to text me. I'm not gonna respond. Dogs, Psh, ooh. A skill I learned <laughs> that you can have a one coffee for hours. I didn't know that was possible, but you can just sit there and drink that coffee for all day long. So sip slow. Oh, I'm happy all the time, but I guess when I wake up in the morning, cause I'm glad I made it through. <laughs> ah, I love Meryl. Go Meryl. It would be my dog, Jack, because he always gets what he wants and he's so good at eating all the snacks and like still getting more. I don't wanna know anybody's thoughts, please keep them to yourself. I'd much rather just fly. Well, I love to dress up because I don't think you get the opportunity to. The truth is, is like I'm in sweatpants right now and like this is my dream outfit. You know, Instagram isn't who you are. We're in this social media age and we give it way too much power. I'm so not famous, okay? But I'd probably be a golfer. Like I'm a golfer on the side. That's what I do for fun. I think I'd be doing that. My favorite scene to shoot was a scene where Vince is being Millie and he's trying to convince Booker, my love interest, to believe that it's him. And he's like, Booker, Booker, just look at me. Look at me. And I got so inspired by him. He's crazy. Okay, Booker, can you look at me, please? Please? Booker, please, can you look at me just for a second? I just started reading. Woo, congratulations me. But I feel like I finally have had time in quarantine to get back to reading. Like, I love reading books. I'm a really big morning person, but I'll be up for an all-nighter anytime. You know, I just, I keep joking that I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Like, I wanna do a YouTube channel where I am Catherine interviewing Catherine as characters I've played, but I'm on Netflix all the time. Like I have, you know, no life, so. Fun fact, I sleep with all three of my dogs in my bed. Big Little Lies is probably the best set I've ever worked on. You know, to be around such iconic women and such amazing talent like that. Like everyone just comes and they're ready to go. My party trick, oh, I can fall asleep anywhere. I don't cook, don't even try. I have Snapchat, 
and I don't ever use it. I like randomly have friends on it from high school and like, I feel like I used to have more friends and now like I only have eight. So where did they go? Oh, I just started watching The Queen's Gambit, obsessed. Use your power for good. Ooh, well, I live in LA, so it's probably in and out. Oh, I love where we're at right now. I think I think we're in a good place right now. I really do. I'm excited for this generation and what we're doing and just to be a part of a change is cool. Almost Famous, it's my favorite movie. Oh, I'm secretly obsessed with uh, these, uh, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, like 100%. My style icons, my life icons, I just wanna live through them. Oh, my best friend is Natasha. Shout out, Natasha. And she doesn't watch any of my movies. It's actually hilarious. When I told her about Big Little Eyes, she's like, oh, you're in that? I'm like, oh my God, when are you gonna care? So it's fine. <laughs> Oh, countryside, but I mean, like, I live in the city. I don't know, but I want to be in the country. Oh, Halloween. A day in the life of Catherine Newton. <laughs> My weirdest Halloween costume was probably, I was Taylor Momsen the year that I wanted to go trick or treating and I was told I couldn't anymore. I should have known better. Look, I would still go trick or treating if I could. I think my last trick or treating was in ninth grade and I wanted to go. And my friend was like, people are gonna get, give us weird looks. And I was like, no, they're not. And uh, we got so many weird looks and I realized, yeah, you can't do that. Um, when I don't say what I wanted to say, like you gotta say what you want and don't change for anyone else. I don't like when I do that. It was so fun, thank you.